Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see detect and block potentially unwanted applications with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux. Now how it actually it works, the potented, the potentially unwanted applications, I'm, I'm sorry, the potentially unwanted applications also known as PUA, this protection feature in Defender for Endpoint on Linux can detect and block PUA files on endpoints in your network. Now these applications are not considered viruses, malware or other types of threats but might perform actions on endpoints that adversely affect their performance or use. PUA can also refer to applications that are considered to have poor reputations. Now how it will work, Defender for Endpoint on Linux can detect and report PUA files when configured in blocking mode. PUA files are moved to the quarantine. Now when a PUA is detected on an endpoint, Defender for Endpoint on Linux keeps a record of the infection in the threat history. The history can be visualized from the Microsoft Defender portal or through MDATP command line. So I'll log on to my Linux VM, Ubuntu VM and show you how you configure PUA protection. Alright, I am connected to the same VM that I am actually configured in my labs and on onboarded to Defender. Now, PUA protection in Defender for Endpoint on Linux can be configured in one of the following ways. You set it to disable, you set it on the audit mode, you set it on the block. Now, in block mode, PUA files are reported in the product logs and in Microsoft Defender XDR, a record of the infection is stored in the threat history and action is taken by the product. We can configure PUA files from the command line or from the management console. So I'll do MDATP. Threat policy. Set type potentially unwanted application action either it can be off audit or block command not found command audit not found did you mean Okay. Action audit. I'll set it to audit. Threat policy modified successfully. And if I would have set block, it would have been in the block mode. It says that it has been modified successfully. You can use the management console as well to configure the PUA protection. The management consoles can be Puppet or Ansible. Okay, so this is how you block or disable or audit the potential unwanted applications on your Linux servers. I hope this was informative for all of you. If you have any further queries, Please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.